Hello again, IFC here with you. And we've got a special guest, John Patton, from uh, who's putting on GunCon. What is GunCon? Oh my gosh, GunCon is, I'm biased, but it's amazing. Uh, we bring together the gun industry, the gun community, and uh, gun content creators in a way that's just never been done. Uh, you know, people talk about SHOT Show, they talk about NRA Annual Meeting, these other huge events, and I have pulled bits and pieces from all of those events. So it is a gun event unlike any other, and it is in Grinnell, Iowa. This is the third year. And we've got, I want to say, 60-some companies involved. There will be 50 on hand, 60 total involved. And we've got over 180 gun content creators, you know, the people on YouTube, on Instagram, all that, 180 of them. And we've got some of the biggest and best brands in the industry, Daniel Defense, Brownell. Obviously, this is being held at Brownells in mm -hmm. Iowa, uh, it is my event, but it is held at Brownells. We've got Daniel Defense, we've got Aero Precision, we've got Stag Arms, Bull Armory, MGS. I mean, it's I could go on and on and on with all the brands. I'm not going to bore you with the list. There's a lot of them, and we've got educational seminars going on throughout the day. You know, why don't why don't I? Well, I'll keep it simple. Okay, I'll, I'll run you through the schedule of events. We're gonna we're gonna talk yes. about how this goes. So people will be lined up at like 7 a.m. The doors don't open until 9 or 10. The official schedule is on the website, guncon.net. So people line up and, and hang out. Every person that buys a ticket to GunCon will get a, uh, a GunCon t-shirt that is exclusive for this year. You will not be able to buy them anywhere else. You'll get a free t-shirt. You'll get your lunch ticket, which is like uh, a main aside and a drink from a various food truck that we bring in for lunch. So it's good food. We get like amazing food at the event. Uh, and you also get a souvenir badge that you get to wear around that has a schedule and all that kind of stuff on it. That's super cool. You can take part in any of the seminars, any of our live stream stuff. That's all just included. Plus you get access to all the giveaways and I'll explain that in a second. So we kick off the day and you come in and there are all of these companies with their various booths set up, right? So you come in and you can see all the latest and greatest from all of these brands. We'll have a photo booth there. I believe that's a GOA sponsor thing, Gun Owners of America. They're going to be there. And IFC will be there. And we also have Second Amendment Foundation. We have Women for Gun Rights in our nonprofit section. And we also have a, a newer group called FRAC, that's Firearms Regulatory Accountability Coalition. They're also going to be there. Then we have all these other companies, right? All these companies showing off all the cool, like some sometimes, I think last year we had six or seven new products launch at the event. This is in Iowa. Like people are launching products at this event. First time it's ever been seen by the public. So there's that. And then sporadically throughout the day, we've got three live stream Q&A panels. And when I say they're live streamed, what I mean is we broadcast them out to... YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all those sorts of things. We broadcast them on my channel, The Gun Collective, as well as some others. But we've got three of them this year. There's a Second Amendment panel. And then we've got our Next Gen Creator panel. And then we've got our Elite Creator panel. Those are those titles kind of are, are self-explanatory. We also have educational seminars. We're going to do one again on, uh, I believe we have a reloading one. We've got one on... Um, off-grid communications, and then we've got the Smith Busters live. That is a Brownells thing. They're going to do that live, which is super cool. Very cool stuff, yes. Yeah, so we've got all that going on. And again, the food trucks for lunch, that's included in the price of your ticket. And then I'll get into the giveaways because I think people get really excited about the giveaways. So I, when when these brands are signing up for the event, I make them give away something of at least $250 in value. So at least that much is every company is giving away something of that value. Now, that could, they can break it down into multiple small items if they want, or they can go way above that. Last year, I think we gave away somewhere in the neighborhood of thirty dollars to $40,000 worth of stuff. And you get tickets when you, you get handed tickets when you come in the door, right? 
So Michael, let's say you come in, I would, you'll get, I believe we do five t raffle tickets, right? And you get to put them where you want to win something. So every booth will have like a little bin and you get to select what you want to enter to win. You can put all five in one, you can put one in here, one in there, whatever, however you want to do it. And I mean, we, we have given away guns, we've given away suppressors, we've given away, you know, cases of ammo, gear, holsters, optics, like thermals, you name it, we've given it away at this event and your chances are substantial to win. I mean, substantial. So we've got all that going on and all these content creators. So I'm going to rattle off a few of those. We've got guns and gadgets. We've got Mr. Guns and Gear, Tactical Toolbox. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to pull up all my stuff. Uh, we Print Shoot Repeat will be there. Arm Scholar will be there. Uh, we Like Shooting will be there. I, I can't, off the top of my head, I, I'm I'm blanking on all of the names, of course. Right. But we've got, it's all on the website. All these guys are there. And this is your opportunity to come hang out with them and meet them. The core of this event, the core of this is to build a stronger community. Like we, we all know that we are constantly under fire from politicians across the United States. And if we can just build a much, much stronger community together, this is our opportunity to do that. Does that make sense, Michael? Yeah, it does. Uh, so so uh, just for everybody's edification, when John and I were visiting before we started taping, uh, I wanted to make sure that everybody that was going to be able to watch this or hear this understood the value of going to GunCon. So uh, different values are for different people in different places and different times, different ways, right? So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So if, if I'm a... If I'm a 60 something white guy who's looking at some of the things going on in the industry and saying, why do these young whippersnappers have a flashlight hanging off that 44 lever gun? You know, <laughs> th there's something for that guy. If he comes, yeah. uh, what about yeah, the, the, what about ahead, the young ahead. black mom? That's that's that uh, doesn't have a dad or excuse me, doesn't have a husband. And she's like, I am concerned about my well-being, my, my well-being. I am entering into the firearms world and seriously considering carrying uh, for self-defense for the first time, what's there for me. So from for the young people that haven't typically been in the crowd to the people who have been in the crowd forever, there's something for everyone in between. And I really want people to understand the true depth of what you're talking about at GunCon. This isn't a shallow thing. Uh, this is a deep dive into a lot of stuff. And so, you know, you, like you said, you'll be there early. You'll get in, you'll get fed, you'll get access. Maybe you'll be part of the, um, uh, I should ask that. Are people able to submit questions for the panels that they're, oh, that are going on? Yeah, I left that out. Sorry. I apologize. Okay. So this, the, the live stream panels, yes, they get broadcast, but the whole core of it is the audience that's there. Like we have a whole big, like sort of auditorium set up where you guys can come ask questions of on the second amendment panel, the people that are in that space, you know, so like we'll have IFC up there, we'll have GOA, SAF, FRAC, all those, all these groups will be on that panel and you can ask them whatever you want. Uh, and then we're, we're going to do that with the, up and coming content creators on the next gen panel. And then we're going to do that again with the elite content creators later in the day. So you like, if you've got a question, this is a perfect time to get that publicly answered. Even if you're challenging someone, you're yeah. challenging the status quo. I'm not here to stifle people. I'm here to answer questions. Like we're here to build back stronger. Not this, not this Biden nonsense. We are, we are building the community stronger than we've ever been. And this is an opportunity to do that. If you want to ask a question, you're more than welcome to do that. Well, I'm really happy to hear it uh, explained that way. And I know that we didn't talk about this in, in full disclosure. Uh, John and I don't know one another um, other than uh, a brief interaction not long ago that lasted just a few minutes. So we are learning about one another right here before everybody's eyes. Now, <laughs> when I when I went through the Gun Collective site and I read the about and I went down through there, I noticed that there wasn't a, a big, long description under each tab. But what I did notice is um, was something that was very important to me personally, is that uh, essentially you put forth the idea that you are interested in discovering the truth and exposing the truth about any given thing. Uh, that's yeah. that's kind of a way of explaining that. And in a world where we <clears throat> are denying 
moral objective truth and we're going around grabbing something from Oprah saying, well, I'm going to tell my own truth. Wrong. <laughs> no, that is not how the world works. So I have, a, a, I mean, if it's your truth, his truth, and they're all different, then there is no truth. So I was really interested to see that <laughs> word used. Uh, and and sometimes in the, in the pursuit of truth, we find things that we don't happen to like very much, uh, but it doesn't make truth any less different. Oh, golly, good dogs. Good not sorry about that. That's all right. Hold on a second. Nine. So uh, we I'm better wrap things. this up or the dog's going to keep going nuts here. My bad. I've got a, a guard dog in training. So what should we tell people in parting that they need to know and understand about this? So GunCon tickets are on sale right now, guncon.net. The event is held June 29th in Grinnell, Iowa. All of the relevant info is on there. If you're traveling in, you want to get a hotel, uh, there are going to be slim pickings because there's going to be a lot of people in Grinnell that day. So be aware uh, if you want to be there. The tickets are $50. And again, that includes a t-shirt, your lunch, and access to all this stuff. I think, you know, I'm, a little, I'm obviously a little bit biased, but we try to keep it super affordable. Yeah. I don't I don't want to like charge some asinine prices for this stuff. Yeah. So uh, I would love to have you guys there. I will personally be waiting uh, for people to come in the event in the morning. Every year I like to stand out there and meet every single person. Right. It's it's usually kind of brief because I'm, I'm running around like a crazy person. But I want to at least look you in the eyes and say thank you for being a part of this event. Because this is bigger than I am. It's bigger than any of us are individually. And I would love to see you there being a part of it with me. Fantastic. Let's get this uh, distributed far and wide. We'll see if there's a few more people that might be interested. They should be. And I hope sure. that they're able to come. Now, as of the time that we're taping this, there are a few uh, tickets left. I uh, right. hope to have this uh, produced and out very quickly. But the fact of the matter is, if you miss GunCon and you don't get tickets, what's the contingency, John? Uh, maybe next year. Uh, I mean, the event is growing rapidly, and I don't know what next year holds yet. We haven't locked down anything for next year. So, you know, you should probably try and get a ticket for this year. Yeah, I agree. I think that's the way to go. <laughs> uh, we'll follow up with this uh, uh, again, and we would like to have you on again. And maybe uh, we could go over a few things after GunCon, but uh, we really want to concentrate on making sure that people know about it, what to expect, and getting them there. So Grinnell, Iowa, right in the, the heart of the state, and uh, by Brownells, who has been Man, the Pete Brownell, Frank Brownell, uh, the, the family themselves, but certainly the employees too, tremendous advocates and, and great partners in the Second Amendment. Absolutely no doubt about it. So we're always yeah. glad to work with them. And and I will I wanna I wanna mention this. Brownells has been supporting me and my events for almost a decade now. This is not a short term partnership. This is year three of Gun Con, but we did an event called the TGC panel, which is what came before this. Mm -hmm. And they've been a longtime supporter of this event. And uh, I can't say thank you enough to them allowing us to sort of take over the building that day. Agreed. Okay. Thank you again, John Patton with the uh, Gun Collective, offering gun con to the locals and everybody else that can make it. Uh, we'll look forward to it. Thank you, sir. Very kind. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it.